Uh, as we have heard, uh, some residents do plan to ride this storm out. Sometimes uh, they feel like they just have to. Adriana Diaz is just north of here with a uh, one man story. Adriana. Jeff, we're in Jacksonville, North Carolina, where the rains and the winds have really picked up. We're about 20 miles inland from the Atlantic Ocean, which is just down in that direction. Now, this is the new river. A lot of people have come here on their boats to anchor their boats, but most people tied up their boats and they got out of here quickly. Now, the owner of this boat, that's Captain James Ross. He owns a tour boat company. Some of his other boats are out here. He's deciding to spend the night on board. So you're worried that if you left your boat alone, it would get destroyed? Correct, correct. We, that's one thing uh, us captains don't do is we don't run for the hills. We uh, like to stay with our assets, you might as well say. But this is a life-threatening storm. This could cost you your life. Yeah, it could. But, uh, you know, when you're, uh, when you're a licensed captain, you're experienced for these kind of problems, you know, situations. So you, uh, you just stick with your boat. I imagine a lot of people are telling you not to do this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A few people told me I was crazy, but like I said, this ain't my first rodeo. I've done this before. It's not his first rodeo because he rode out hurricanes Bertha, Fran, and Floyd all on boats. Now, we asked him what he's going to do if things just get unbearable out here tonight. He said he's going to jump in the water and swim to shore. Now, the governor of North Carolina issued a sober warning saying, don't relax, don't be complacent, stay on guard. Jeff. Jumping in the water and swimming ashore doesn't necessarily sound like the best plan, but we hope you all stay safe. Adriana, thank you very much.